Hello, Gumet229 here, and I want to talk about something Persona right now. Um, there was a tweet that was posted a couple of weeks ago, and I've been meaning to get around to this. I just kept forgetting to sit down and record something, but I'm remembering now. There was a tweet uh, posted a couple of weeks ago by Persona Central uh, talking about, you know, the, you know, you, Narukami, in the Persona 4 spinoffs. And the tweet says, Persona character designer Shigenori Soijima, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, suggests that they may have gone too far with the depiction of the Persona 4 main character's personality in Persona 4 spin-offs based on the community's interpretation of him, so they scaled it back for the Persona 5 main character. Do you agree with that? And they've got a nice little picture of Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. And my first reaction to this was, What? Excuse me, what? Are you kidding me? Too, too far? What do you mean too far? You having a personality in the spin-offs is great! In fact, this is one of the reasons why a lot of people love you so much. Especially if the personality was given in the Persona 4 anime. The, the Persona 4 the animation, not the golden. Not golden. The golden anime, <laughs> it's got a lot of issues. But, you know, people like that. Him having a personality in Persona 4 Arena and Persona 4 Arena Ultimax and him having a personality and talking in the dancing game. like. You felt like an actual character, and yes, all right, yes. In Persona games, you have a character who's mostly a blank slate. They actually did a little bit more with Ren in Persona 5 compared to you and Minato in Persona 3 and 4. Because in those games, they're very, outside of a couple of funny, uh, like, you know, dialogue choices, there's really... Not much for them. It was it was really on you know spinoffs for like Persona Three, like it was really mainly the Persona Three movies. You know, in per Persona Four you have the arena games and the dancing games, and you know the Persona Four the animation that really gave you that personality. I mean, the super apathetic attitude that we get with Minato that a lot of people go with. Well, that's from that was established heavily in the movies, and I think in the manga. I'm not as familiar with the manga. But, like, you, you have all these extra, you know, materials that, you know, give them more personality. And you shines a lot. Like, if you watch Persona 4, the animation, you is such a distinct character. He is so entertaining. He can be serious, you know, caring, loving of his friends, standing up for what's right. But then sometimes he's just really weird. He'll just say, the like, the most absurd things with a completely straight face. You don't know if he's, like, just trolling them or if he's, like, just seriously that weird. And it's so funny. It, it makes for such great comedy. One of the biggest problems with with uh, Ren in the Persona 5 anime, and, I mean, granted, that anime has a lot of problems, and me and a couple of friends, you know, Julie and Angel Ren, have talked about this in another topic video where we just spent, like, two hours talking about that and why the Persona 4 anime is better. But one of the problems, one of, one of the primary problems, I should say, with the Persona 5 anime is the fact that Ren is just a cardboard cutout. That's all he is. Like, Ren in Persona 5 Vanilla, the actual game, he actually has a personality. Like, this isn't just a few uh, funny dialogue options. This is like, in cutscenes, you see him very expressive. He's this, he's cocky, he's sassy, he's a show-off. They actually call him a show-off. When in the beginning of the game, when he's escaping the casino, he bursts out and is doing a triple backflip, which is completely unnecessary, but he's a show-off. It gives us that bit of a personality, which you would think is very easy to build off of for future installments. But when you get to the anime, they they took stuff that was you know they they took his personality from the games and they they toned it down even more. Like even some scenes like in the game when Anne is talking to Ren about you know Kamoshida and stuff, and you can see him. His curl is like uh, he's bawling his fist because he's just so pissed off at what he's hearing. You get you get that. You you see that reaction from him. You see that pisses him off. That stuff stuff like that that's cut out of the anime. And some of his options, some of the things he can say, and even some of his dialogue options are taken from him and given to other characters. Why? Is was it because of this?
Was it because they were trying to scale it back? Like, I know in Scramble, they treat Ren more like he is in Persona 5, you know, Vanilla in the actual game, where he's pretty much a silent protagonist, except for, you know, dialogue, dialogue options. Which, you know, that, I guess that's fine, but... I know I'm not alone in wanting a. L I, I want more from it. Like this is what a lot of people were looking forward to with spinoffs, with the anime, with something like Scramble. If there's a hypothetical Persona Five Arena, um, you know, even in you know the Persona Five dancing game, they don't really do anything with Ren. Like and not not like how they have you talk in the, in the Persona Four dancing. Like I'm I'm baffled. I'm baffled where this idea came from that they went too far with you in the spin-offs in establishing a personality for him because that personality they established and those spin-offs are what are helped contribute to why you is so loved a lot of people really like you and it's because uh, we get to see him with a personality persona 4 you know the animation is probably one of the best versions of you just because of how entertaining he is. But you see him in Persona 4 Arena and Persona 4 Dancing and you see him talking and he feels like an actual character. And this is, this is one of the biggest problems is that they're not a character in the actual games. Like you and Minato are not actually characters. They're just blank slates. It can be kind of annoying. Especially for someone like Minato, who's supposed to have this character arc about opening up. Well, you can't really do that if they don't have a personality. But with Ren, they actually gave him a personality. It doesn't affect the actual story, really. Not all that much. But they gave him a bit of a personality. More so than, you know, the other Persona protagonists. Outside of, like, Tetsuya and Eternal Punishment, where he wasn't even the main character. But he got to be his own character. But... <laughs> Scaling back with Ren in Persona 5 spinoffs is a terrible idea. We want to see more, and I was looking through the, the comments, a lot of people agree. Like, a lot of people, you know, feel that, holy crap, we want him to talk. Oh, uh, there's Ultima here. No, this is a garbage take, Lamau. You know, gumball, you know, n n no, this is a terrible and garbage mentality which completely hinders any potential for what could have been a well-rounded multi-dimensional protagonist. Joker would be ten times more fun to watch if he had his own character like you did. A lot of, and honestly, I go through a lot of these, I, I've gone through a lot of these, you know, comments before, and... You know, every, pretty much everyone, like a solid 90-95% of the comments are agreeing with the idea that we want more of Ren. We want him to have a personality. You know, all y'all folks, you know, working at the, you know, making the Persona games, working at Atlas, I don't know where y'all got this idea that people were mad that you had a personality. That's one of the best things that happened to him. And Ren! Ren, more than any other Persona protagonist, at least in their vanilla original game, has a personality. You can work from that. You don't need to go too far, but allow him to have a person. Allow him to speak. Like, it's nice to see you talking to the other characters in spinoffs. But one of the biggest problems that I see is that you have, like, you know... Ren just standing there, like, like in Persona 5, the, anim the anime, you know, you have... Ren just standing there while everyone's talking, and I'm like, is he gonna do something? No, because they're basically just treating it like it was in the game, except they're taking what was what personality had in the game and sucking that out too. And it's really frustrating. We want to see more of Ren. We want to see him have a personality. And I'm telling this to if if anyone from Atlas sees this, which I doubt they will, but if they do. We want Ren to have a personality. We don't want it scaled back. In fact, I think they struck a really nice balance with you in the spinoffs. Because obviously they don't establish any canon, you know, love interest. You know, you have other... You, you, depending on... It doesn't really matter which one's popular. But, like, you have, you have uh, Rise, uh, Yukiko, Chie, you know, Marie, any of the other, you know, you know love interest, you know, they don't establish that. They they keep it neutral because, frankly, they would be stepping on toes if they went too far in establishing a, an actual, you know, 
primary uh, love interest. Whenever something like that is forced, you can see stuff like that in the Persona 3 movies when they really try to push I guess. Or in the Persona 4, the golden anime, where they really push Marie. Like, people don't respond well to that. Especially if they've already had, you know, their per their personal waifu that they already paired you with. Yeah, you want they they actually struck a nice balance. They they didn't do anything that I would f that I would feel was, uh, like going too far with with you. So I don't know where they get this idea that they that they felt like they went too far because they didn't. They actually really didn't. I thought it was done really well. I, I really do think it was done really well. And I hope that they don't think that, that we want all of the protagonists to always be blank slates. To be honest, I hate it when they're blank slates. I like it when they have some personality. Like, <laughs> it's something that does annoy me a little bit with the games where they're, like, just a blank slate. It's like, I, like, I know that they're meant to be, like, that you project yourself onto it. I just... I never liked it. I like it when they have a personality, at least some kind of personality. I know we're choosing the dialogue options, but to make it just a blank slate is is so boring. But I understand why they do that in the main games because that was like this is where they start from, so they kind of keep it, you know, down low for the the player to make their choices. But when you're doing the spin-offs, people don't actually have a problem with giving them a personality. And I think I think it's absolutely necessary to give these characters you know, the, the protagonist's personality outside of their main game. I mean, shoot. Can you imagine what Tatsuya would be like in Eternal Punishment if he just didn't talk at all? And they just kept him silent? I mean, just imagine going through, you know, the Persona 4 arena and, like, everyone's talking and then it just gets to you and he's just like... It's boring and it doesn't make sense. Like, yes, take care when you're deciding exactly what you're nailing down is his character traits. So yeah, I, I'm not saying don't be you know don't be thoughtful about what you do with Ren, but this this attitude of oh we gone too far, let's just never give them a personality ever. Like, please don't, please, please, I'm begging you, please. What you did with you was great. Do that with Joker. You already have a baseline personality that should be really easy to build off of. Just go with that. Build on top of that. And you can you can actually have a lot of people really loving Yu's character. Or Ren's character. I mean, Yu was made a lot more popular by having a personality. That's one of the reasons why he's so beloved. I mean, people love Persona 4, but, like, all of the spinoffs, giving a you a personality, like, those really help with, with the character being loved. And Rin, while he's very popular, because Persona 5 is just amazingly popular, you can make him more loved as a character, not just as the leader of the Phantom Thieves, but, like, and as the protagonist, but actually as a character, just like you is, if you actually gave him a personality. That's that's really all I wanted to say because I just saw that and it really annoyed me because there's so there's so much you can do with Ren. And to just do nothing, to be frank, is the most boring thing that they could possibly do. So what are your thoughts about this? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Please comment below. And thank you for watching.